A white male in sociology said that we all have the same opportunities no matter our race. He continued by explaining his father's story on how he was eventually successful, even though he grew up poor. He insinuated that black, brown, and indigenous people were just lazy or didn't work hard enough, because if they did, they could also be successful. Mocked by my white roommate for wearing clothing styles popular in Asia. A student asked me and my black roommate, do we even go here? while he was wearing an NYU sweatshirt. Students assuming that my race was the influencing factor in my acceptance to Lehigh. People finding it acceptable to use the N-word. Friends claiming they liked cultured guys, but their de description of cultured was only light-skinned Hispanics. There's just a lot of people who don't understand their privilege at all. The Brown and White published an article referring to Africa as a country three times. I know that right now is Black Lives Matter, and I just want to say that as an Asian person, I will never experience the same amount of racism prevalent in the United States as Black people do. I remember when the coronavirus began spreading, I was walking to an off-campus eatery and people would walk by me and cover their faces with their shirts while looking at me. While on a normal basis, I would never receive looks, it was difficult for me to understand and keep my mouth shut as they walked by. As I said, my black friends are facing a plethora of racial discrimination every day. And at the very least, I can finally empathize with the looks in the streets and the cautiousness to come near me just because I am, and frankly, look Chinese. It's a start in educating and advocating as well as empathizing and understanding. I'm a griffin. One night while doing rounds around midnight, uh, I saw a first year student leave his dorm building while yelling loudly on the phone. I was talking to another griffin next to me, a person of color, and we were keeping an eye on this guy because he was being very loud. And we were debating whether to ask him to quiet down and go inside. Almost as soon as he got outside, uh, and I emphasize again, he was yelling and it was late at night. He said, he's such a fucking I'm going to punch that stupid in the face. My co-griffin and I froze, and the student walked away down an off-campus road right next to our dorm. We looked around for him and waited for him to come back so we could identify him for the report we were going to file. But after 30 minutes, he still wasn't back. This was over a year ago, and I don't know who the student was. He looked very strong, and he was tall. And for context, I'm neither of those things. And I regret that I was afraid to immediately intervene when I heard him yell racial and homophobic slurs. My freshman year, I lived in M&M, which was predominantly white. In my floor, there was only one other person of color. It was freshman orientation week. My roommate, who is white, and I decided to go explore South Bethlehem. She invited a friend of hers, a white female. We were walking by La Lubeda Mexican restaurant. Before I noticed, my roommate's friend pointed out the help wanted sign and said, oh look, the Mexican restaurant is hiring somewhere where you can work. <laughs>